Greetings, family, and welcome to another episode of Wake Up Africa. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How you doing? How's everything going? I really do pray, family, that you are well in all your ways and that you are mentally and spiritually doing your bit for the liberation of Africa. Because I'm telling you, the war is being fought on many fronts, not just in Burkina Faso or in Niger, not with just what the army generals are doing but also with the global Africa really putting their energy, their spirit, their prayers, their powers into the manifestation of the true liberation of Africa. And as I told you, this narrative war started two, three years ago, and it coincided with the awakening of our people, because when they locked down the world, it gave us time to reset ourselves, family. And yo, you're all seeing. You're all seeing. You're all seeing the citizen news guys, the YouTube guys. Uh, you're seeing how, you know, French Africa is being liberated. And what is actually happening, family, which is what I wanted to talk about in this show, is that it is creating a silent movement among the British colonies. And I'm not going to call them former British colonies because we all know there's nothing former about the, the situation we're in, family. Many of our people are still spiritually and mentally colonized. But I'm telling you, if we get our land back, that is such a big thing. And what we're witnessing now, family, especially if you look, wow, we give thanks and praise to Mama Earth, just to the angelic realm. It is raining. We are by the beach, family. It's been a hot, sunny day, but truly, we take this as a sign and a confirmation of the sacred times that we are living in. When I tell you we've moved into spiritual time, you best believe me. And what I've noticed, family, is I've been looking at the, the rhetoric or the conversation that's happening amongst the, the British colonies, Twitter, among British Twitter, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, even in Kenya, Kendrians were joking about how our prayers for liberation have been answered in West Africa. But the British colonies are getting inspired, family. The British colonies are starting to whisper about what happened in, you know, what's happening in West Africa. When is our liberation coming? How long are we going to put up with it. That's the tone. That's the language. Because now, especially Gabon is different, family, because Gabon saw a long sitting president who was an obvious puppet of France publicly kept there. I mean, barely able to. I think he went to a summit somewhere the other day and he didn't even know where he was. Not even coming or going. Looks so robotic, family. But he had the full force of the French, who have always used elections. You know what I've always said about elections? That's when we have that opening gap where they can enter, um, you know, to do something. So family, the fact that this has even been done in a, during an election and they were like, uh-uh, we're changing that, hey, Errol. It's actually epic because now other African presidents, and this may be the only reason that the other African presidents decide to act or react, because they are not because they want to support Babylon, but because they want to try and save their own asses. Off, Errol. Off. They want to save their own lives. They want to save their own. Yeah, they want to save their own asses because, yo, the presidents are shaken, family. The presidents are shaken. And don't forget, like, over 75 of the population is under 30. People are ready. People are young. I don't know if you saw when um, ECOWAS or when France and the divided states were talking about how they were going to attack Niger immediately after the Niger coup. All of a sudden, family, so many young people showed up by foot, by bus, however they got there, to the capital to, um, to volunteer for the army. So let me tell you, Africa knows what time, is it, uh, what time it is. And if I was doing a prophetic Sunday like I used to, what I would say is, watch for the British colonies next, family. The time we're in now is the time we were in in the 50s 
when and the 60s when one African nation gained independence and there was a domino effect across Africa. And I'm telling you, because of the Twitters and the TikToks and the Instagrams on this and the WhatsApps of this world, our people have received a basic education of Panak. I can't even speak, family. And excuse my voice. <clears throat> To keep it 100 with you guys, family, I was partying. I was celebrating what is happening and what I am prophetically seeing. I have been giving thanks. And then we just had the last full moon it, that will happen in over a decade. I mean, not the last full moon, the last super moon, like mega moon. This, is the, this was the last one and the energy was so potent. And we saw what has been happening with all the portals that have been opening. I don't know who is behind these French, these French generals, but they're hitting these astrological alignments and everything like boom, boom. And if there's no one behind them, then you know this is a spiritual thing that is being led by the supernatural, which a lot, you know, you know, obviously it is. But family, we give thanks and praise to the Most High, to the ancestors, to the, you know, what did they say? The dead, the living, and the unborn who are fighting with their minds and their hearts, their love for Africa, for the liberation of Africa. And watch this space. Something is about to pop off, family, in the former British colonies. Something is about to pop off. And if you see them reacting or trying to do any UN intervention, it's not the na peoples of those nations, but it's those presidents trying to protect their, themselves. And it's getting riskier and riskier as the time is delayed because, you know, the citizenry are now with the coup leaders, the citizenry are now with the citizens of Niger, the citizens of Gabon the citizens of Burkina Faso, the citizens of Mali, that's who we're with. But those are stories uh, for other days uh, to Kopamoja.